Hey everyone, it's Monday, April 20th. The time right now is 12.53 p.m. and the temperature is six degrees Celsius. Let me just flip the camera around. And this is Montgomery Avenue. And that is Young Street. And I'll be heading south on Young Street down to the intersection of Young and Davisville. And the reason for that is I'm on my way to get my first vaccine shot. This here is Montgomery Square. So I just thought I might as well bring the camera with me and make a video out of it. It was announced on Sunday that the AstraZeneca uh, vaccine was going to be available to people over 40 as of Tuesday, which is today. So late Sunday night, I hopped onto my computer and I started the process of booking an appointment to get a vaccine. And it's really kind of chaotic how everything's organized, or rather not organized. It's sort of up to the individual to find a pharmacy that's taking an appointment and then go ahead and book the appointment. So I got on the waiting list at all the major pharmacies, at Shoppers and a few of the Rexalls in my area. But none of them have got back to me. Neither did a number of other pharmacies I reached out to, but one seemed to book an appointment right away. Or let's cross over. They sent me an email and a text message confirming the appointment. And when I checked the next morning, it was completely booked. So I think there was a lot of hesitancy from the over 50 crowd in terms of booking the AZ vaccine as a lot of them were going to waste. And that's one of the reasons why they opened them up to 40 and over. Now I think it's quite difficult to even book an appointment. So perhaps I shall consider myself lucky. So this is the intersection of Young and, or Young and Eglinton. It's cold today. And that is affecting my speech for some reason. I went out and recorded a walk this morning up Craven Road. All right, let's run with this guy. And it was about four degrees. Now it is six, but it actually feels quite a bit colder. I'm guessing that's the wind. So hopefully this appointment I have is legit. The one catch 
was that it did say 55 and over when I booked it, but I put in my date of birth and my health card, or my health card number. And I did book it for Tuesday as this is the first day us 40 year olds are eligible. So hopefully there's no issue. I'm not planning on recording inside the pharmacy. Or any part of that process, so this video will just be me going to the pharmacy. Or perhaps I'll do an update at the end of the video. Just to let you know how it went. And this is Sudan Avenue on the left and Berwick Avenue on the right. I suppose I just could have taken the subway south one stop. And that is probably how I'll get home. In the reverse direction, of course. This cold weather is kind of giving me second thoughts about live streaming tonight. Maybe I'll do one tomorrow morning instead. I couldn't do one yesterday because of the Rogers outage. So I'm not really sure what to expect of this experience. I think I have to wait around for 15 or 20 minutes or so after the shot has been administered. And I think I'll get some kind of proof that I got the shot. I'm not sure if I'll get the follow-up appointment right away if, or if that's something they'll reach out to me to schedule later on. I do know that in an effort to sort of maximize the amount of people who can get their first shots, they're pushing the second shot out to four months after the date of the first one. So hopefully, I'm not shooting myself in the foot because I'd rather get <laughs> the J&J &J one and just have one shot and be done with it. But those have not shipped to Canada yet. I believe those are coming at the end of this month. The mRNA vaccines, which would be Pfizer and Moderna, are not being administered through pharmacies and I'm not yet eligible for either of those.
that guy had a pretty serious camera and gimbal setup. I've ordered from this place. I think as a whole, the province's sort of vaccine strategy is quite chaotic. They're sending mobile clinics out to hotspots. And people are lining up all hours of the night to get them. And I think they're pretty much showing up unannounced. I don't know why there's just not one central booking system. They can notify you in advance when it's your slot. It's not like they had a year to anticipate this and prepare for it. But I guess criticizing <laughs> the province is kind of going after the low, hang low hanging fruit right now. As for the blood clot concerns that have been associated with the AZ and the J&J &J vaccines, I don't really think that's an issue at all. From what I was reading, you're more likely to get struck by lightning twice than getting the blood clot issue. Also, the birth control pill has an exponentially higher rate of blood clots. Okay, and I'm almost here. And I'm just about on time. There's a pharmacy over there, an IDA. And there's a couple of pharmacies across the street and I'll be going to one of them. There's where Davisville Station is. There's a look along Davisville Avenue. And there we go, your friendly neighborhood pharmacy. I'll just slip my mask on. There we go, and I guess I will come out and give you an update one way or the other. All right, so I will uh, see you back in a minute.
and we're out. That went really well. I just walked in and they had a desk set up with a pharmacist at it at the back and he confirmed my appointment. I rolled my sleeve up and got my shot right away. Then I had to wait 15 minutes. Oh, I better go here. And they sent me an email from the Ministry of Health confirming that I received my shot and said at some point in about the next three months or so, I'll get notice to be able to book the follow-up shot. Right now, they're thinking it'll be about four months. And that was pretty much that. And three other people got their shots after me, so it's quite efficient. Now I'm just going to pop into the subway here and go home. I hear a train, hopefully it's not the northbound one because I will not be able to catch it. No, it's southbound. Sweet. So thanks for coming along with me as I walk south from Young and Eglinton to Young and Davisville. And got my AZ vaccine. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Line one, Cork Finch. Please stand clear of the doors. Next station is Edmonton, Edmonton Station.